is guys, it's your boy Blast from Sage D, and today we're here to watch a video called Five Female Convicts Freak Out After Being Given Life Sentences. Now, laughing at one of these type of videos is a very guilty pleasure because people getting life in general isn't something that's funny. Oh, unless they deserve it. In which case, it makes me laugh from a good healthy place. It'd be stuff like you murdered somebody, but then you crying when you go to jail for life. Like you didn't expect it. That's what makes it funny. The original video is the link's in the description down below. It is by the top five unknowns. Let it go. Five female convict freakouts. Number five. Bad shit. Had no seasoning on it. Not on either side. You know what I'm saying? No, there we go. Delicious. Woman from San Diego was captured on video screaming at a judge who sentenced her to 80 years in prison for shooting her husband. Additionally, she was convicted for shooting her 14-year-old daughter, though she denies any involvement in this, claiming that it was actually her husband who shot the child and that she shot him in retaliation. She can be seen on video disrespecting the judge, back-talking, and telling the judge that she has no respect for her. The woman eventually was let out of the courtroom by security and taken to a holding cell. Take a look. Man, even though we all know she's more than likely guilty, I mean more than likely, more than likely, that that woman's my mom's age, man. Seeing her freak out like that kind of sucks. In the house that morning, that Aaliyah was somewhere in, in, in UTC. Okay. She was 14. How did she get to UTC? He talked about me just standing over, over Ruben and shooting him. Ruben was standing up when I shot him. I shot him because he shot my daughter. <laughs> she not fair. What kind of judge is that? Number four. An African-American woman was convicted for her involvement in hiring a hitman to take out her boyfriend. Throughout the court proceedings, the woman repeatedly called the judge racist, insisting that the punishment for the crime was entirely unjust, insinuating that she was only being punished for being black. At one point, the judge stood up from his podium, unzipped his robe, and stated that he wanted to provide a sentence that would resonate for the entire state of Ohio, adding that when the race card is pulled in such a disgusting fashion, you'll pay the harshest possible penalty. The woman was then sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. I keep looking into this, Sheila. and after that, the Supreme Court is going to be on top of it too. Sheila, at this point, I have to tell you, that if you raise it anyway. Would you just please let No, because you have always been disrespectful to me. And you don't like black people, and you definitely don't like me. When you try to flip the script, when you play the race card in a disgusting fashion, but most important, when you manipulate the system of justice by murdering a witness in a criminal trial, you will pay for Did they kill it? Possible penalty. And therefore, you, madam, will be sentenced to life in prison without any possibility of parole. I'm going to find you $20,000 in count one and order you to pay your court costs. You'll never be released, so we're not going to talk to you about post-release control. 
Oh, you know, you know, you know, you see, it ain't up to you no more. I'm glad to, I don't have to even see you. I ain't got to see you in the drug case. Well, it's you're, over. You're, you're going to be back in here with that drug case with me, too. Oh, well. You're going to read that up, too. Sheila, you're not done. Y'all going to read not, that up, too. Y'all going to find me guilty. Pretty sure if he was looking at you in disgust, it's because you killed somebody. After she took the life of three of her family members, then a social worker. Apparently, the woman blamed her family and social worker for having taken her daughter away from her. In retaliation, she showed up to the family's home and took out anyone who was present. Because somebody who murders four people is fit to be a parent. That makes sense. I see that one. The woman pleaded guilty to all charges, though seemed shocked when she received the penalty of life without parole. She can be seen in a video breaking down in the courtroom after hearing her sentence. You killed four people. What did you think would happen? Parole? I don't know if I will ever forgive Jody for what she has done to me and my family. Herring has previously admitted to killing social worker Lara Sobel in August 2015, and three of Herring's relatives, Regina Herring, Rhonda Herring, and at Julianne of Alzerano. We all know that these birthdays and the anniversaries and the holidays return each year. And with them, the empty reminder of everything we no longer have. Sowell's husband, Tim, says one of their daughters spoke with her mom on the phone as a 48-year-old left her office in Barrie. Having spoken her last words to her mother, her answer was the noise of mommy being shot down, not once, but twice. My sister was anything but a model of professionalism and integrity, dedicated to the protection of the children of the state of Vermont. I asked for help several times, and I didn't get it. Prosecutors called the murders methodical. Both families called on the court to send a message in its sentence. For me, these 27 months have been incredibly long, and the journey is so- That sucks. That sucks. Two. In November of 2017, a woman and her gun instructor were found guilty for their plot to take the life of the woman's husband. The husband was found to have been shot, yet survived and made a full recovery. Police say that the plan was rather obvious and simple, yet it was completely botched, leading to the woman and man being caught relatively quickly. As the two were sentenced in court, the woman can be seen collapsing in a dramatic fashion after being found guilty of all charges. She was sentenced to 25 years in prison, with her accomplice being sentenced to 50. We, the jury, in the above entitled cause, find the defendant, Diana Jean Lovejoy, guilty of the crime of conspiracy to commit murder in violation of Penal Code Section 182, Parent A. And then just moments later. We, the jury, in the above entitled cause, find the defendant, Walden K. McDavid, guilty of the crime of conspiracy oh. to commit murder. <laughs> At one point, Diana Lovejoy completely passed out. You literally followed through with an assassination. You may have failed, but you, you literally went through with it. How, how you mad? Diana Lovejoy would regain consciousness. Then she was bound by her feet and her hands and led out of court by firefighters. Back in court, Weldon McDavid Jr. was convicted on all counts of attempted murder, conspiracy to murder, and assault with a deadly weapon charges. Jurors spoke about how they were able to come to a swift conviction, finding both Lovejoy and McDavid working together, trying to kill Lovejoy's ex-husband, Gregory Mulvihill. He didn't miss. Um... Was the vagina worth it? Because I don't think it was. He hit him center mass, but he moved. We have to put what happened, that it was an attempted murder, and that Mr. Mulhill did luckily survive this, but could we, this could have been a very different outcome. Because it was a well-thought-out crime didn't mean it was a smartly-thought-out crime. Number one. A young couple recently charged with taking the life of their infant daughter after they refused to get her any sort of medical help, claiming that this was due to religious reasons. After an investigation was performed, it was determined that the baby had passed away from simple neglect, and that if the parents had even taken minimal effort to care for her, she would likely still be alive. The couple also have two older children, aged two and four, who were found in poor health following their parents not getting their vaccinations due to fear of the modern medical system. The two now face up to life in prison without parole. So one township, 
that you're both charged with what they call felony murder, while in the perpetration or attempted perpetration of child abuse in the first degree, they're alleging that you murdered one Mary Welch. That is a charge called homicide felony murder. It is life without parole. It requires a DNA sample to be taken upon arrest, which is often like a cotton swab or in the inside of your cheek. The second offense that you're both charged with is called child abuse in the first degree, where they're alleging you knowingly or intentionally caused serious physical harm to a child. They're talking about this Mary Welch. It is a felony, possible penalty of up to life imprisonment, Dang. or any term of years less than life. That, that sucks. Sucks balls. But don't do the crime, and you probably won't get the time. More than likely. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. It's your boy Blast with Sage D. Peace.